evening. Good evening, everybody. I haven't been on in a while, so it'd be nice to upload a video. I was really busy with volunteering with my kids and then kindergarten grad. It was so stinking cute. <laughs> Adrian graduated and it was it was so cute. Um Lately, I've been picking up on a cell tower, okay? Somebody received payment, okay, to cut out a cell tower. Um, how I got it was like a specific, a specific carrier. So, um, for example, I'm with TELUS, okay? So that would be a tower. And it was for something. It was planned, okay, and they received payment for it in order to um, stay out of jail somehow, okay? So to, to do an act of crime, okay? To do an act of crime. And so then this specific person or specific people, the carrier that they were with, this, the towers were... So if they tried to call 911, it would be as if there was no 911 call whatsoever. Okay? So I'm going to tap into that. Um, to ten of swords, someone. Okay? So that they would have no potential to even, like, make the phone call. Which is so, so wrong in so many ways, okay? Everybody should have resources to protect themselves. And this is just so that someone could get away with, see, no communication, holding back the communication so that they can come in and ten of swords, okay? It was like an entire carrier, like, okay, I don't know, it, I, that was just an example, but it was... um. I don't know all the different carriers, but it was like this wasn't, there was a gap. There was a gap to get this done. A gap of time to get this done so that this person wouldn't be able to call upon authorities to help them, which is tragic. The reason that they want to do this is because they see that you're healing, okay? They thought that, that maybe you would t end up um, feeling so oppressed that you would be sabotaging self, self-sabotage, and you're just not. You're healing. You're healed, okay? You are healed. So it was a plan to, like, shut a cell tower down or, like, some sort of tower carrier so that no phone calls would be able to get through. Yeah, there was payment. There was payment, like a big payment. That's so tragic. These people don't want to go to jail for what they had planned to do in this space of time that you wouldn't be able to make any phone calls going out. Um, somebody wants to come in and apologize, like gaslight in order to like have this plan go through. So, um, or maybe an apology. Strength. Like your strength and integrity is the exact reason that these people are so, yeah, I'm getting like anxious, butt hurt. I'm getting butt hurt. <laughs> They're so butt hurt because of your strength your ability to tame your dark side, okay? And and then just be in like to harness harness energy, both light and dark within you. To create to create peace. Like they see you being patient and resting easy and this like has them in anxiety because they know all the energy that they tried to send you to lay you to rest behind the scenes. Okay, in order to have the upper hand a control tactic okay not only spiritually but like this has gone around on around you behind the scenes for a long time these people hate the strength that you have the ability to harness um anything that they send towards you 
people hate that you're able to transmute energy very skillfully, okay? Um, it's like it's enraging, enraged. They thought that this would be easy, an easy come up. They thought this would be an easy come up. To tend towards you, and it just hasn't been. They were, they thought that you were naive. They thought that if they were to come and bring you an offer, you would just be naive. And it's just like, no, no thanks. And don't even apologize. I don't even want that apology. Right? That's just another control tactic to lay, to lay rest. And you know this. Okay. Someone's also trying to harness someone's sacral chakra, their sacral energy. I'm getting that with all the yellow backgrounds here. Okay. So maybe do a cleanse or a visualization. Okay, clear that energy with bright, 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 white light. Somebody's healing abilities are being enhanced. Like somebody's mind is cleared. Like maybe maybe there were certain toxic thought patterns you had or certain, um, it could be depression, anxiety, addiction, um, something about purification of the mind. People know this, that in like intuitively they know that you're healed, you've healed yourself. Okay. Pure in the mind. Empress. Ten of coins. This is just like a rich, rich, fruitful, right? Like this is like fruitful, abundant, indefinitely abundant. It, not just like, not only on how you carry yourself, okay, but like, um, intuition strength perseverance um but and still light-hearted after going through people trying to ten of swords you like continuously you are gifted in and then there's like a there's this something of the mind is like purified there was someone lying on you in the past heavy slander here Heavy slander, heavy working with rogue police officers too. This Queen of Swords is like working with police officers to like um, create an, a false investigation. Yeah, they're working, I'm getting with rogue police officers to create a false investigation, okay? And there was like money made off of this fraudulent, fraudulent behavior. I mean, fraudulent behavior. Yeah, for this come up. They thought it was going to be an easy come up. Okay. And your strength to persevere and put everything in God's hands um, and not retaliate is exactly what gives you this new stable beginning. Okay. The come up that they had off a year back is the same come up that you're going to have. Um, like clean. It'll be like clean money, right? This person is enraged the fact that they made money off of your back and it was dirty and then you just turn around and persevere not retaliate and you get that same come up you clean Held in high honor of your peers as well and this this person just looks Like the exact person that they are manipulative um, calculated Bitch, <laughs> bitch, <laughs> these lovers, choices in love, right, like an upgrade, there's also like a DNA upgrade here as well, like when we choose better for ourselves, um, we get better, we get better things brought to us um, through manifestation. Justice. 
The justice is that you just get better opportunities in life. Because you chose to hold yourself in high honor, you will be held in high honor and you will get this justice just through even the little things in life, like like um, opportunities just being brought to you, um, having healthier love options, um, and maybe more intuitive gifts, more clear-minded, more concise in the mind. Um, just being more prideful, not in a negative sense. Like just having pride within yourself, that confidence. Wow, being stable and grounded. Um, knowing your worth. It's a self-worth thing as well. People are hoping to work with you in order to ten of swords you. So just like, if you're a person that stays to yourself and you're doing fine by yourself, just maintain that, right? Your responsibilities, your priorities as a parent maybe. And um, just keep your circle small, okay? You want a solid circle, right? A solid, a solid support system. And um, usually it's it's by keeping it small. You will be happy. The outcome is happiness, okay? Success, not only for you, but the people around you, okay? It's just going to be radiant. It'll radiate off of you. And um, also this exposure will be able to like, you'll be able to see a red flag. It's kind of due to isolation. Like you will be protected. You are protected. And your guards are kind of up because of all the shit that you've been through. So like you are able to expose what is shady, right? Um, and be able to leave that out in the cold, what's not for you. Wow, so this is actually beautiful. This is like, um, this is like somebody's name being cleared after heavy slander, okay? Not only by this Queen of Swords, but the, the authorities that were working with that Queen of Swords. Um, wow. So it, it was this Queen of Swords and authorities that got a hold of a carrier in order to like cut the lines so that this person then, then can come in and and do some sort of heavy betrayal so that um, the call wouldn't go through to other authorities to protect. These people will go to jail for this. Okay, something about somebody's carrier, okay? The phone carrier received payment in order to, to ten a sword someone. And somebody just persevered. Like, by the grace of God, they, like, God always leads a way out, right? So that these people won't be able to attack, especially if you if you lay all of your faith in him, right? Um, there will just miraculously be a way for you to get out. And that's what happened here. And there's also a, an admirer who's watched you persevere through how many years? How many months? Of like, um, treacherous grounds. Somebody's like, well, that's the strongest woman, that's the strongest man I've ever encountered in my lifetime, right? Like, you could say that your, your parents are strong, your grandparents are strong, but were you there when they were a kid growing up? No, you weren't. You've seen them as mature, as wise. This is like you witnessing somebody become wise and being like, wow. That's the strongest woman. That's the strongest man that I've ever witnessed um, in, my, in my lifetime. So I'm going to read a little bit of this book. The Mountain is You, Transforming Self-Sabotage into Self-Mastery by Brian Weist. Downplaying. Wow. Okay. This, these people were downplaying like your capabilities. Um, if you are an intuitive or you just have a strong intuition and you were able to read between the lines and call things um, as they are, as they were, and avoid certain situations. These people downplayed your gifts. They downplayed um, anything and everything, okay? They just had this malicious intent to slander your name so that you wouldn't have a come up, okay? So that you wouldn't get what was owed to you, okay? And they can continue to... to sabotage and make money off, off of your demise 
So it was like you were doing really great, great things. The simplest of things, but like really great things. To avoid what they were trying to put upon you. Like that's wonder. That's so, that's amazing. Okay. And they were downplaying how you'd be able to call what was going on around you. And avoid what they had set up. Or to be able to call it out for exactly what it was. Okay. And they downplay it. And then they go back on, on, um, regroup, <laughs> okay, regroup on how to do something else, okay, it was obsessive, malicious intent, downplaying, when we downplay our successes in life, we are either trying to make ourselves seem less impressive so others do not feel threatened and therefore like us more, or we're trying to avoid the sense that we have made it because we're afraid of peaking. Though so many of us long for the moment when we feel as though we've finally arrived and achieved the measures of success, success we so deeply desire, we often receive them only to then feel as though they aren't that great, impressive, or that they don't make us feel good, as good as we thought they would. This happens because of downplaying the idea of having made it makes us afraid that we're reaching the pinnacle and therefore we'll fall off of it. If we acknowledge that we've arrived, what goals remain? It is a feeling akin to death. So we instead find another measure to work towards. Likewise, when we are around other people, we do not stand firmly in our pride because we're taught that it's a bad thing. When done in an, in an unhealthy way, it is. When we are sense, what we are sensing is the feeling of being better than, better than others because we've achieved something. This makes us uncomfortable because we know it's both untrue and unkind. We all are on different levels and different aspects of our life, but we're never better than the next human, right? How to resolve this? Like nothing makes us less human than the next person. Somebody has a good understanding of that and it gives them an advantage um, when it comes to like... Uh, karma to just know to be kind and true honest how to resolve this we can all acknowledge the and appreciate other people's diverse accomplishments and talents while still being happy about our own instead of shrugging off a compliment we can respond by saying thank you i worked very hard and i'm happy to be here if the fear is that we're peaking too soon. We have to reform our idea of progress. We do not get better only to get worse again. We do not achieve one thing only to lose it and return to what we were before. Unless it was done fraudulently, right? Unless it was based on, on being false. Um, that instinct is a self-sabotaging behavior, one that wants to keep us within our old comfort zone. Instead, we can acknowledge that when one part of our life improves, it radiates out to everything else. When we achieve one thing, we are better equipped for the future. Life tends to gradually get better as we keep working on it. It only gets worse if we accomplish something then shut down because we're intimid intimidated by our own power. unhealthy habits we'll do that one tomorrow I'm, I'm gonna go i'm gonna be online a lot more than i have been um the last couple weeks were just really busy for me um have a good night people i will see you soon